Welcome to your 2022 Mini Cooper Convertible. This is the top trim John Cooper Works. So it's got the bigger engine, it's got the faster zero to 100 time. And new for 2022 is a mid-cycle refresh. Uh, lots of cool things happening. So let's do the drive. Let's do a look at the outside. We'll take a look at the inside and that'll wrap us up. So in this specific iteration, the John Cooper Works, it's a two liter turbo four. You have 228 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque, all through an eight-speed automatic transmission. Now, it's really quick. It does the zero to 100 sprint in 6.5 seconds. The Cooper S does it, I believe, in seven something, and the regular Cooper does it in eight. And the interesting note here is between the Cooper and the John Cooper Works, um, it's almost 100 horsepower difference. I believe it's 134 on the regular Cooper. Um, so, Nothing's wrong with a regular Cooper if you just want something that's got a drop top and really good handling. But if you want the exclamation mark, you want to have all the fun driving, um, you want the faster zero to 100 time, um, definitely go John Cooper Works. And I think that's what I would do specifically in a Mini. I don't always pick top trim vehicles um, and I don't always do it based off power. For me, it's more based off comfort. But in a rare exception of a Mini, I'm absolutely going to go for the most amount of power because it's got such a small footprint and the wheels are pushed out and the handling is phenomenal and it's small and it's low and it's it's fun to drive. Now, running around the city, it's not the smoothest ride, but it's not designed to be the smoothest ride. So you can't get upset with the Cooper for, uh, for having you feel some bumps and some dings and dents in the road uh, as you go. But for what the car is, for a convertible, it's, it's exactly what it should be. Uh, I don't mind feeling some bumps uh, along the way. I, I genuinely don't. Again, in this specific uh, Mini, like any, any Mini to be honest, uh, but more so in the three-door where it is the smallest footprint. Uh, straight lines are fun and fast. Getting on the highway sounds and feels really, really good for that matter. Uh, we'll do a quick stop and go test. Not really a test, just more of a, a quick look. So I am just in regular mode, not sport, not green. Uh, nothing's moving in the window and also the tops down because well, it's a convertible. Anyways, uh, let's take a look. Let's take a listen. Again, lightning fast, but you know what? Turbo takes a couple of seconds to spool up and get going and then you get pushed and uh, you get the exhaust notes there and it still sounds really, really good. So we'll do it again, and this time we will throw it into sport mode. This changes the mapping of it, and let's go. So a little more engine noise out of it, a little quicker to uh, get the turbo spooled up uh, and get you going to where you need to be. Let me put this back into uh, regular, sorry, mid mode. Know what it is, understand what it is, and I'm confident in saying I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy the Mini. So let's look at the outside, and there are some noticeable differences. It still bears the Mini shape. There was no full uh, tear down and put back together. Yes, it's a mid a refresh, but um, different front end, slightly. Again, you can still tell it's, uh, it's a Mini vehicle. Um, I'll put a list of uh, the key changes that Mini has done uh, for the mid-cycle refresh, but then for me, I'm in the automotive world, I see these often. Um, I can tell the subtle changes, uh, rear is a little different. Uh, standard now are LED headlights, standard now are the Union Jack taillights, where they used to be only on uh, some vehicles. I love the color, it's zesty yellow. Um, I will never lose it in the parking lot, it gets lots of stares, um, some peculiar looks and some, you know, big smiles, but if you're gonna drive a Mini, at least you know, the way I feel about it, get a color that stands out. Like every other color of car I would buy personally would be black. But if I'm driving a Mini, uh, I want it to have some pizzazz. I want it to have some character. Um, and I, I kind of like the, uh, the zesty yellow. And I think if Mini Canada said, hey, hang on to this for a year for a long-term test drive, pretty quick and resounding. Yes, yeah, take a look inside. So standard now is the 8.8 .8 inch digital display screen. Nice high-res graphics, easy to use. The controller, which is just behind the gear shift, makes it so easy. Um, and I've said it for at least a few years now. 
the BMW slash mini infotainment system is uh, my favorite in the industry. It's just, it's so easy to use between the iDrive uh, for BMW and the mini connected uh, system here. Yeah, so easy to use. Um, interesting note, they've made the air vents flush with, uh, with the trim. So uh, yes, there's a little knob that sticks out so you can open and close the vent. Uh, but as far as the blades go itself, it is flush and it looks really, really sharp. Um, little bit of design elements here, at least the way Mini Canada has spec uh, this tester vehicle. Um, this does have uh, the upgraded fully digital dashboard. It's got the optional heads up display. I don't like the heads up display um, only because it's on a piece of plastic as opposed to it being projected onto the windshield. You can still see, it's not a matter of, of not being able to see what's on the heads of display, just, and I find it a little distracting having the big piece of uh, black plastic pop up. Seats are quite comfortable for the John Cooper Works. I will move my head to the side and you can see that the headrest is fixed as part of the seat back. It is not adjustable. Uh, good side bolsters, good thigh bolsters, uh, no driver fatigue for me. Uh, just a lot of fun driving, but you know, seats make a big difference. A big difference. It's not a word. Seats make a big difference in, uh, in how you feel in the car. Uh, everything is exactly where it needs to be. Not much as far as changes go. You have your digital um, output for your HVAC system. Your drive mode is just over to the right. And everything else falls exactly where it is. Uh, upgraded options on this tester is a heated steering wheel uh, as well as heated seats. And that's part of the Premium Plus package. Uh, I'll put a list as to what some of the other highlights are of this uh, specific thing. Uh, off the top of my head, I think they were ambient lights, Apple CarPlay, uh, yeah, there's a list on the screen for you to take a look at. Uh, what I'll do now is I'm going to quickly spin the car around and I will show you how much I like the roof because to me, the roof makes a big difference here because it's a three position roof, fully closed, you get a sunroof and then you have it fully retracted. So what I'll do is I'm gonna take my hat off and I'm going to close the convertible part of it. So the windows go down uh, a little more than halfway. So you can see it right up there, it's closing. The arms come down, the windows go up, and now it's a lot darker. I think you can see my teeth if I show them. So what I like about the engineering for this is I'm gonna open the sunroof. A small irk here, you have to hold it down the entire time uh, to get it to have the sunroof go open. So it'll stop right there. Now, if you want the convertible part to go fully open, you've got to hold it down all the way again. But here's what I like about it. So again, notice my hat is off, longer hair, pandemic hair, and I'll get the car up to uh, 50, 57, random number. So you can see my hair is going off to the side a little bit, but it's not blowing in my face. And the wind pretty much stops right about there. Uh, there should be no wind noise on the microphone as I'm, uh, as I'm recording this. You just double check that. Uh, yeah, should be no wind noise on the microphone, but if you don't want to have the top down fully, uh, or you're on the highway, you're in motion, but you do still want the open air. For my five foot eight inch frame that sits all the way back and all the way up, the sunroof opens a perfect amount to have air come in, air goes on my face, doesn't get my hair twirling and swirling and in my eyes. You want something small, you want something fun. Uh, you want a convertible, you want great driving dynamics, you want some power. The three door uh, mini convertible for 2022 uh, via the John Cooper works trim is the absolute way to go. You don't want as much power, go for the Cooper or the Cooper S, but to me, it's just all or nothing. I want to have fun driving. I'm going to go top trim, most amount of power. And uh, yeah. So on that note, uh, that's going to wrap up the review. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Let me get a good spot in the sun. There we go. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support. And feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And feel free to tell somebody with the channel who you think might be interested in what it is that I do. Until I see you next time, be well. Oops, I'll cut myself in the dark again. Be well, be healthy, be safe.